All right, we are now joined by members of our race winning team. We have crew chief Cliff Daniels and executive vice president and general manager of Hendrick Motorsports, Jeff Andrews. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. We'll go ahead and open it up uh, for questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand and we will get a microphone over to you. We'll go to Jeff and then we'll come down here to Bob. Hey Cliff, um, it seemed like, you know, before the race you're saying, hey look, you know, we can play this conservatively, like we don't have to go out and hit a home run today, like, and then your car's so fast you don't even have to worry about it, you know? Uh, can you talk about how that changes things for you guys now? Yeah, it does for sure, and, and obviously coming into the day, um, uh, it's nice to have the point gap, but I think the last round taught us that nobody's ever safe, and certainly with the point gap, we knew we weren't safe. So it, it's tough to, you know, strictly just tell yourself you want to call a race conservative and then when we knew we had a fast car um i wanted to make sure to keep tires on it you know we never did lefts or rights we were either four tires or uh, i think we did fuel only at the one time um so so wanted to make sure we weren't really exposed at a tire big tire deficit or you know going to be short on fuel at any point trying to be smart about how we called that and then uh yeah i think you asked about moving forward too moving forward you know we still want to be aggressive to try to get you know wins if our car is capable of it um, I think as a company now we've got to put our focus on making sure we get the nine to Phoenix as well. But uh, you know our job is still going to be to go win races every week if we can, and that's our goal. Come down here to Bob. Uh, Bob Pockers, Fox Sports. Uh, Cliff, you know a lot of times we hear people say, "Hey, the goal is to get to the Final Four because you just can't bank on what happens in one race." So, I mean. I would think seven wins would be a successful season, but now that you are there to the final four, do you feel like whatever happens over the next three weeks that doesn't define this year? Um, yes and no. Uh, the, the yes part is absolutely we've had a great year, and I think it's um, you know really shown a lot of strength of our team, of our organization. Uh, but to, to really see that through, right, to, to, to prove what we've hopefully earned, um, you, you want to walk away with a big prize at the end of the year. So... Um, you know, we're certainly going to be focused on that as, as everybody is who's in contention. And, uh, you know, I, I think changing anything for our perspective now would probably be a mistake. We've had a very common mindset every race throughout the year. Uh, it's what's got us to this point. So even though we're locked in, uh, I'm sure my team's going to get a little grump grumpy at me on Tuesday because I'm going to walk in and tell them we have to win Kansas. Um, that, that's just the mentality that we've had all year, so we'll keep it going. <laughs> we'll go over here to Jerry. Jerry Jordan, taking the tires.net. Cliff, uh, now what? I mean, you, you say you go in on Tuesday, but do you focus on the next two weeks, or do you specifically focus on Phoenix? Well, we're going to – first, I, I think part of what helps the, the Phoenix focus is just the, the timing of the schedule. So since it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday show, the truck is going to leave like Tuesday of that week. Um, and the way these race formats go, like our hauler didn't leave until I think Friday morning this week. So you're just going to have two less days that week. So now we are very fortunate that we have a little bit more time just to uh, really plan out the way the next three weeks can go with emphasis on Phoenix, where if you're not locked in right away, you, you know, you're, you're kind of giving everything you can for, for that week. Um, and, and to not be talking out of both sides of my mouth, we, we have uh, really good cars in the system already coming for, for Kansas, already coming for Martinsville. I looked at them with a lot of our guys last week. Both cars look great. Uh, so we're going to finish those out like they are already you know, in process to be. Uh, and then when our Phoenix cars get in the system, make sure that they're, uh, you know, top-notch and ready to go. Are there any other final questions for Cliff or for Jeff? We'll come to Bob and then to Jeff. Also, my chair has totally sank down to the bottom again. <laughs> 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 That's all right. Mine's doing the whole the time same you guys thing. were talking to me, I was just getting lower. <laughs> I'm glad this is the only SEAL league we've had all day. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Don't worry, the floor isn't going to give out or anything like <laughs> yeah. that. Um, Kyle said something, mentioned to him that the last time a driver had eight points wins at Hendrick was Jimmy in 2007, and he said something about, you know, a lot, some of these guys were on that team. I mean, are there a lot of guys who w were with Jimmy back then who are with you now, and how does this run compare to that run 14 years ago? I from what I know of that run, because I, I wasn't at Hendrick then, um, I, I would say anything like that year after year is probably really hard to compare. Um, obviously, the, the record that Chad and Jimmy have completely speaks for itself. And to even be 
mentioned uh, in, in a conversation with them, first off, is, is a, a big blessing and, and you know, pretty cool just to, to, to even have that. Um, I, I know that I think that there may be one guy on our team that was with Jimmy in, in exactly the year 07, and then three of our pit crew guys, I believe, have been on this team since 2009. If, if it's not 2009, it's 2010 that at least three of those guys have been together. Then there's another handful of us that have been there, uh, two guys since 13, another two since 14, and I'm on the group that was the end of 14, beginning of the 2015 season. Uh, so certainly um, couldn't be more fortunate to have learned from the, the champs of you know Jimmy and, and Chad uh, for, for the years that uh, all of us were, were with those guys. And we have some younger guys on our team that um, I, you know I, I think the way we operate, the way we tried to go race every week has kind of resonated you know, within our team. And we have such a strong group. Um, it, it's just really special to be a part of. Go ahead, Jeff. Um, I believe, I don't, I don't know the exact number, but I believe that you guys are going to have a shot at the single season laps led record since it went to 36 <laughs> races at least. Um, That's cool. Do you care about that, Mark? I know it's a really big deal to, to Larson. Uh, the, the f I, I didn't even realize we were going to be that close in contention to it. So um, that's pretty cool. I, you know, I think the way races are nowadays, um, we've seen, especially some of the races that we've had this year where we've led a lot of laps and we haven't won. Um, I, I would love to be leading a category of wins per year, but I'm sure that, what does the King have? King has 20 something in a year, I think. Mm -hmm. King's got a lot. So, so that would be probably a pretty lofty goal to ever get to. But uh, we'll, we'll take uh, laps led if we can get there um, at the end of the day. You know, taking our group of guys, taking our team and all the resources that we have at Hendrick Motorsports and putting fast cars on track is so cool and so fun to be a part of that uh, hopefully we keep it going and whatever the numbers end up, you know, we'll, uh, we'll be happy about. Is there any final questions? All right. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Thank you, guys.